Hello and welcome back to the sideboard here at the StarCityGames.com Open Series in Cincinnati. We're in the Standard Open, Round 3. I'm here with Andy Ferguson. How are you doing? Doing all right. You would be doing all right. You mm -hmm. are 3-0 with a sweet black slash blue aggro deck that you're calling Seer Aggro. Yes. Now what drew me to this deck is while I was watching you play Chris Van Meter last round, you have Dusk Mantle Seer, a, a card that has not seen a lot of play lately. Uh, you know, Journey into the Nix is here, we expect to see all these new cards. You have a couple new cards, but what's interesting is the old cards that have not gotten a lot of play that you're sliding in mm -hmm. into this. But it's based off of Mana Confluence helping the mana, and then of course you have, you have one drop, Gnarled Scarhide, mm -hmm. which you said you kind of want more of. Yeah, definitely more. How'd you come to this build of Black Aggro decks? There's a lot of Black Aggro decks with the Mono Black or the Splash Red. You know, how'd you come to this? Uh, well, I've always really liked Dust Metal Seer, and he's actually just kind of never seen play at all. Um, and I think he's he's only really good in a, in a super aggressive deck that can that can kind of handle the first the lower mana cost and wanting to deal as much damage as possible to the opponent. Um, so so I wanted to splash blue in an aggro deck uh, for him, and, and obviously black. Um, and then also um, the the rapid hybridization is actually very very good in a deck like this, in my experience. Um, it, it not only doubles as kind of non-standard removal that can take care of things like Blood Baron, um, but it, it also it doubles as a way to protect your creatures against um, removals, namely Bio Blight and Attention Sphere, which can take out some of your multiples. Um, it also rapid hybridization combos very well with Necromancer, um, in that you can instant speed turn one of your humans into five power. Right. When you get to save a creature, or basically trigger. You know, I saw you use it on a Tormented Hero to get the extra trigger to yeah. gain life. and Because this deck, it looks to be all about just getting them weak enough to where you can finish them off. Yeah. And you have cards like, you know, Dust Mantle Seer, which is a way of almost a form of reach. It is. It's a lot of reach, You know, when you have them yeah. so low mm -hmm. and people are playing stuff like Grey Merchant, mm -hmm. you know, Storm Breath Dragon, big creatures like that. Very much so. The cool thing about this deck is not only you're running Dusk Mantle Seer, but Pain Seer, obviously for the Seer Aggro yeah. moniker, so you're getting a lot of Bob effect in this mm -hmm. deck. You know, the cool thing you also mentioned is that because of how much damage the deck deals to yourself, it's really got to run torment, the two whips. Yeah, the two whips are extremely, extremely yeah. important in a deck like this. Uh, you've got, yeah, you got Herald of Torment, Dust Metal Seer, Pain Seer, all dealing damage to yourself. Plus now we've got Mana Confluence, yeah. which deals even more damage to yourself. So the two whips are very important in the main deck. Um, and then also a lot of removal on the sideboard to take care of the aggressive decks. Yeah. Not a deck that wants to do a lot of blocking. You've no. got a lot of X1s, a lot yep. of 2-2s and things like that. Unleash and yeah. comes into play tapped, can't block. Yeah, definitely not great. When I first saw the two whips, I was like, that's a, that's a lot of whips mm -hmm. for an aggro deck. And then, you know, you brought up the point. Basically, every card in your deck's dealing you damage. Yep. So yep. it's pretty good there while allowing you to get the pressure in. Mm -hmm. A lot of people forget that, you know, Dust Mantle Seer is a 4-4 four, four flyer, mm -hmm. you know, a pretty affordable one too, so. Very much so, yeah. He's actually, Dust Mantle Seer is, is insane against decks like Mono Black and Esper. Um, if you get to untap with him, you you more or less won the game because not only are you drawing into more action for your turn that you get to use on your turn, uh, he is 4-4 four, four flyer um, for 4, which, which not only will deal them a lot of damage a lot of the time off of things like Grey Merchant or, uh, or even Elspeth or something out of the Esper deck. Um, but then also you get attack before in the air. So you're squeezing in a lot of damage on the ground early, yeah. but then you've got Herald of yeah. Torment at your top end, along with Dust Mantle Seer, as you're flying evasive damage, plus Mogi's Marauder can come down and give your guys evasion as well. Mm -hmm. So it's a very tough deck to block. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like you said, with, with Necro Necromancer and the Herald, you're pretty resilient to removal yeah. as yeah. well. Exactly, so. yeah. Supreme Verdict is, is not as good as it could be against this deck, yeah. that's for sure. Of course, rapid hybridization. You've got ultimate price and a bio blade mm -hmm. as your removal suite, yeah. with a lot more in the sideboard. Correct. Also, an aggro deck that is two colors, but you still get to play mutable in a full four of mutable mm -hmm. to help apply the pressure as well. Which is really great, also with Necromancer. It's even more, even more value off your mutable. So yes, it's not always good. Not only attacking with your land, but if it dies when you have Necromancer, yeah. Yeah, another creature office. comes in. Yep. Pretty strong. Let's talk about your sideboard a little bit. You've got the Life Bane Zombie to come in against the Green White guys. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Anything with that. Yeah. And then Dark Betrayal for the extra black decks. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Thoughtseize and Doomblade for, you know, killing things Normal and ripping purposes. apart hands. Yeah. Yeah. What I like to see 
is a one of Triton tactics yeah. here. Talk about the in instances you could use that. Uh, that card's actually kind of sweet against anything really more aggressive than me, which which can't happen because like I've only got six one drops. So so the decks like the Burning Tree decks or anything where or mono red or anything that's going to be even more aggressive than myself, I can effectively race with things like Bogus Marauder and then. Uh, kind of have a surprise uh, ability to, to block and kind of completely turn the swing everything in my favor, essentially. Not to mention you can get the sweet value yeah, off you get of your heroic Seer. trigger also. Block yeah. along with Tormented Heroes. Yeah. So you're gaining yeah. life, drawing extra cards, all and blocking them oh, for yeah. all the blowouts. Plus it's disguised with rapid hybridization. Yep, exactly. And a blue spell. So now you've got a couple of Drowning Stars. Is that again a hedge against the super aggro decks? It is. Uh, it's it's a hedge against the Burning Tree stuff, and also I I feel like my matchup against something like Hexproof, which seems like it might get more popular, is not going to be great. So this is kind of a way to hopefully get him get him uh, with a couple of Blade Cover Scouts or, or the new two one Hexproof guy or something yeah. like that. Yeah. The Archer. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you're 3-0 and so far with this. Mm -hmm. I really like what I'm seeing from it. Uh, I wish you good luck the rest of the rounds. Thank you. So for here in the sideboard at Cincinnati, I'm Nick Miller and Andy Ferguson. Thanks.